gnome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out Oh, just let me out How's it going lads, Marshall here and welcome back to the Netherlands RTG. Now last time you had a choice between Adam Maher and Jordi Classy. Now this was close but you guys ultimately went for Classy due to his defensive attributes more than Maher. Maher is more of a calm and if you do want some coins use that code right there on the screen M89 for 5% off from FIFAninja.com so head over there every link that you'll need is in the description. Now my first opponent has a nice little Swiss League team. And uh, Shikawi up top. Shikawi is always fantastic. I reviewed him right at the start of this game. And I've got to say, he's one of my favourite players on the game. As we do take the lead through Castaños, who has been fantastic ever since we brought him in. And it's going to be a struggle once I do get rid of my strikers. As Raphael van der Vaart unleashes one from 25 yards over the top of the goalkeeper to make it 2-0. It was 3-0 shortly after. A goalkeeper mistake presents El Kabir with the chance. And he's not going to miss a lovely little finish there into the side of the net. My opponent did pull one goal back, I don't know what my goalkeeper was doing in no man's land, he was literally at the penalty spot just walking about before Van der Vaart, he makes it 4-1 with a beautiful shot from 35 yards, I don't know why that press A thing was up in the top left hand corner, I think uh, someone had just missed the penalty or something like that but anyways, my opponent, he pulls back a consolation to make it 4-2, we come forward and we make it 5-2 with Raphael Van der Vaart getting his hat-trick before we win a penalty and we've got the chance to make it 6-2 in the game and my opponent well, he backs out, lads. So there he is. He's gone. Connection has been lost with your opponents. And we can get an upgrade. So it's going to be Wreckage who's going to head out. And in comes this little man from Lazio, Stefan De Vries. Now, De Vries, I think I'm saying that right, by the way. Or oh, it's De Vries. I'm not too sure. Now, De Vries, he is going to come in because some of you on the last episode said my defence wasn't good enough. You're conceding too many goals. Bring in a new defender. So we're going to focus on the defence a bit from now on. On, but we'll need to kind of improve the rest of the team because as you see in this game it's Lichtensteiner who takes the aim, he takes the star of the show award because he bags a hat-trick, Lichtensteiner, Lichten bloody Steiner, of all people on his team, I mean he had a Barbo who just missed an open goal, and Lichtensteiner, fucking Lichtensteiner, he goes and scores a bloody hat-trick, I could not believe my eyes, but we did rally, and we did try and come back, Castanos with a cracker from 30 yards right in the top corner before we score a corner kick scramble, Congolo giving the ball to Classy and Classy getting his first goal for the club underneath the goalkeeper but Lichtensteiner is the star of the show there and we do take defeat on the chin. My next opponent, this should be more easy, a bronze and silver kind of mix between French players and more French players and we do take the lead. Raphael van der Vaart who is the star of this episode by the way, he makes it 1-0 before we come forward, nice piece of play between our two strikers and it's Castaños that makes it 2-0. Like I said, I'm going to struggle when I bring in the non rest strikers because I mean you've literally got Luke de Jong and I think um, that's about it so we might have to convert CM de Jong and have the brothers side by side up top maybe Luke and CM and see what we can do there but we're not going to have the pace we're not going to have the skills and it's going to be tough for us so we do win 3-1 in that game and we're going to replace our left midfielder John now John's been fantastic for us but unfortunately we do have to get rid of him in comes Afalai and Afalai is amazing on this game I've tried his inform out his inform is just cracking I can't wait till we get to inform and legends hopefully if I can't afford the legends to bring into this side so Afalai comes in I decided not to replace a defender on that occasion because Congolo he is solid and Aki Aki is fantastic on this game I've got to say he is so solid it's ridiculous as we take the lead in this game a very unexpected lead because my opponent's team was a cracking team it's a nice little Serie A team with Ibarbo up top I just can't handle Ibarbo on this game and we do take a 2-0 lead before Ibarbo does what Ibarbo does he walks through everyone and he puts it in the back of the net to make it 2-1 and then it's a Barbo again lads I just can't get a Barbo marked I can't win the ball off him he's too fast he's too strong and he's good at finishing but I think my goalkeeper there he could have done more and he could have saved that it's 2-2 in the game we come forward El Kabir and Castaños linking up yet again and it is Castaños that puts it in the back of the net to make it 3-2 in the match before my opponent comes forward it's Mertens with the shot my goalkeeper was already on the floor I don't know what the hell he was doing and he makes it 3-3 before the star of the show ladies and gentlemen Rafael van der Vaart he makes it 4-3 a cracking strike 
strike there from another free kick. Now this is down to you. We're going to replace a goalkeeper because he's a sack of shite. It's between Vorm and Sillison. So get comments in, in that comment section below. And um, yeah, smash the thumbs up on this video. Let's aim for 200 likes yet again. I hope you have enjoyed and I'll catch you all next time.